Hey, it's Jason with inflatableboarder.com and today we're gonna to be reviewing the brand new Thurso Surf 11.6 Expedition. Now, this is a touring model. Uh, this board measures 11.6 by 30 by six. Of course, it features all of the same design elements that Thurso's previous boards feature. Uh, mid board, you have a heavy nylon webbed uh, carrying handle. Uh, with the new boards that Thurso is putting out, they're including a neoprene uh, Velcro cover, which makes the handle more comfortable, as well as it gives you a uh, place to secure your paddle when you're out on the water. Uh, if you want to put your paddle down and take a swim uh, or uh, use both hands for photos or uh, things like that, it gives you a, a secure place uh, to keep your paddle. The traction pad that Thurso used is the same as their other models. It has a ribbed pattern to it, uh, alternating white and gray, and it has a dimpled texture to it, which is very comfortable on the feet. It's actually a two-piece traction pad. You've got the front two-thirds, which is white and gray, and then the rear third, uh, it's the same pattern and texture, but it's an alternating black and gray pattern with some white accents. Really great looking traction pad, uh, and it's, it's very comfortable on the feet, provides excellent grip. Midboard also, you've got four uh, stainless steel D-rings for attaching a, an optional kayak seat, or you can use these D-rings to attach uh, gear as gear attachment points. Going back towards the tail of the board, you've got the Halky Roberts style air valve, as well as an additional D-ring for attaching a sup leash. Moving to the front of the board, you've got four more stainless steel D-rings, as well as the bungee cord storage area for uh, securing your bag, uh, your Crocs or flip-flops and other paddling accessories. At the very nose of the board, Thurso also incorporated a nylon webbed grab handle, which is great for pulling the board in and out of the water, really makes it, uh, really makes it convenient. Before we flip the board over, let's take a quick look at the top deck of this board. Of course, you have the beautiful uh, Thurso Surf wood grain look graphic uh, that they feature on all of the top decks of their boards. Uh, as well as the uh, EVA foam traction pad. Flipping the board over, you can see the bottom of the board, very plain, it features the Thursa Surf logo, as well as a tri-fin configuration. The triple fin configuration that Thurso used features three removable fins. The fin system that Thurso uses is a toolless fin system. Very, very simple to use and there's no tools to lose. All you do is you simply line up the pin with the hole in the channel, drop it down into place, and then push down the lever to lock the fin into place. It's extremely secure and it's super simple. The rear large fin also secures using the same uh, method. Just drop it into the channel, push it down, and flip down the lever to lock it into place. Now let's talk for a bit about what is included with this board. Of course, Thurso is well known for including a really nice uh, batch of SUP accessories with their boards. This board comes with the Thurso Surf backpack. On the front of the bag is the Thurso Surf logo, as well as a zippered clear storage pouch. Uh, this storage pocket is an excellent place to keep the included fins and other small accessories. You've got grab handles at the top of the bag and on both sides of the bag. These grab handles are padded. They have a, uh, a Velcro uh, closure on the handles. There's also a fourth grab handle on the rear of the bag above the shoulder straps. Both of the shoulder straps on this bag are padded and there's also a sternum strap as well as an adjustable waist strap uh, for securing the bag while it's on your shoulders. The back of the bag also features uh, some light padding uh, with kind of a, a mesh fabric uh, to keep things cool. Opening the bag up, we'll take a look at the included accessories. First of all, Thurso includes an upgraded uh, carbon fiber shaft sup paddle with their boards, which is a nice upgrade over uh, the typical aluminum or fiberglass models that most inflatable boards come with these days. This paddle is a fully adjustable three-piece paddle. Basically, there's just a locking lever at the top and a locking lever at the bottom. You simply slide it into place and lock. As I mentioned, it's fully adjustable. You can adjust it based on your height by simply uh, opening up the lever lock. Thurso also includes a coiled sup leash with their boards. 
Uh, the first Thursa board came with a straight sub-leash uh, and a lot of customers requested that the company include uh, a coiled sub-leash instead of a straight sub-leash. So the company made a change and is now including a coiled sub-leash uh, with their boards, which we really like. The Thurso sub-leash features a heavily padded ankle cuff, very comfortable. There's also a hidden key storage pocket, uh, which closes securely with a Velcro closure. At the other end is a secure Velcro closure for attaching the leash to your board. And both ends of the leash feature a stainless steel swivel uh, to eliminate tangles. We love the fact that Thurso includes a sub-leash with all of their boards. Thurso also throws in a padded, insulated sub-deck bag, which is a really nice touch. The top of the bag uh, features an open mesh uh, storage pocket, uh, which is a great place for stashing small accessories that you don't need to, to keep dry. The top of the, the bag opens up with a zipper design. There's also another open mesh storage pocket on the inside lid of the deck bag. And as you can see, the entire interior of the bag is insulated. Thurso also throws in all of the mounting hardware. Of course, you can simply slip this under the bungee cord storage area at the nose of the board, but in the event that you want to attach it uh, to the D-rings, they include all of the hardware uh, that you need to do so. Thurso also includes a dual action sup pump. This can be used for inflating and deflating your board. And as I mentioned, this is a dual action pump, which means that when you initially begin to pump the board up, uh, you can use dual action mode, which will inflate your board on both the upstrokes and the downstrokes. Then once the inflation process starts to become more difficult, you simply flip the lever over to single action mode to finish it off. This board uh, has a recommended PSI of 15. Of course, there's also the inflation hose. And last but not least, Thurso includes a SUP repair kit. Included in the repair kit is a valve wrench, a small brush uh, with a wooden handle for applying adhesive. You have some additional replacement clips for the fins in case you happen to break one, as well as a couple PVC patches should you need to do any repairs in the future. Now let's quickly talk about what we like about this board and what we don't like about this board. Uh, first and foremost, we love the way that this board looks. Uh, as we've mentioned in the past, Thursa is making some of the nicest looking inflatable paddle boards on the market today. This board shares all of the same basic design elements as the previous Thurso models. They of course use the uh, very attractive wood grain graphic on the top deck of the board. Really sets the Thurso boards apart from the competition. Um, we love the look of the uh, multicolored ribbed traction pad that they use on the top deck of the board, as well as the gray and the white side rails. Uh, this is just a really, really nice looking board. We like the fact that the company incorporated the new neoprene uh, cover handle, although there is one thing that we would change about this, uh, which we'll mention in a minute. We really like the fact that the, the company incorporated a grab handle at the nose of the board. This gives you a super convenient place to grab a hold of when you're pulling the board in and out of the water. Uh, we really, really like that addition. This board is super rigid when pumped up to the recommended pressure of 15 PSI. It's very rigid uh, and very durable. It's a well-built board. Performance-wise, this board is a lot of fun in the water. It tracks extremely well. It's got good glide. Uh, the tracking, of course, uh, is excellent thanks to the shape and the length and the triple fin configuration of the board. We also love the fact that Thurso includes such a nice package of SUP accessories. They really include everything that you need to start paddling. And we love the fact that the company uh, encourages SUP safety by including a SUP leash with all of their boards. So now let's quickly talk about things that we didn't like with this board. As we mentioned, uh, we do like the neoprene uh, handle cover, but we wish that this was removable. Uh, as it stands now, uh, you can simply open it up, but it's still stitched to the nylon part of the handle. Uh, the company could easily uh, improve this design by simply making the neoprene cover removable, which would really come in handy when you're doing things like SUP Fitness. Secondly, we would include a couple additional D-rings at the tail of the board. Uh, this would give you an easier way to secure uh, more gear at the tail of the board, and being that it's 11.6, uh, there's plenty of room back here to do that. Last but not least, we would extend the rear portion of the traction pad. There's a good 
foot or so of empty space at the rear of the board, at the tail of the board, uh, and you could easily extend the traction pad back further and even add uh, a raised kicktail here, which I think would be a great addition to this board. Overall, this is a great board, very affordable price point. Uh, Thurso includes a ton of value with this board by including, like, like we said, everything that you need to start paddling. Uh, the company backs all of their boards with a solid two-year warranty, which covers you in the event of any manufacturing defects. Uh, while Thurso is a new name on the SUP scene, uh, the company provides amazing customer support and they really stand behind all of the gear that they make. If you want to get additional information on this board or check the price, visit inflatableboarder.com slash Thurso116. Again, that link is inflatableboarder.com slash Thurso116, or you can simply click the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like by clicking the thumbs up button below. And if you haven't already done so, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So that does it for today. Happy paddling.